February 24th, 2022. A date that will forever be etched in history as the day Russia launched its full-scale invasion of Ukraine, significantly altering the course of modern geopolitics. Fast forward to 2024, and the situation has evolved into a complex and challenging struggle. As we find ourselves in 2024, the conflict continues to escalate. But what exactly is fueling this intensification? In this video, we will delve into the evolving dynamics of a war that shows no signs of abating. From Russia's strategic moves to Ukraine's responses, we explore the key developments shaping this ongoing crisis. The Escalation of Conflict Russia's primary objective remains clear, to bring Ukraine under control by any means necessary. This unyielding pursuit has dictated the course of the conflict, forcing Ukraine and its Western allies into a reactive stance. The escalation in 2024 has been driven by several critical factors, beginning with Russia's increasingly assertive tactics. In early 2024, Russia intensified its actions across multiple fronts, militarily, psychologically, and economically, pushing the situation to new levels of complexity. The absence of U.S. military aid during the first few months of 2024, compounded by the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, provided Russia with an opportunity to advance its efforts in Ukraine. U.S. aid to Ukraine faced significant delays due to opposition within the U.S. Congress. Republican opposition to President Joe Biden's $60 billion military aid request resulted in a temporary halt in assistance, leaving Ukraine in a challenging position. This deadlock was finally broken in April 2024, when a $95 billion aid package was approved, with $61 billion allocated to Ukraine. During this critical period, Russia advanced its strategy, leveraging its air superiority. The Northern Offensive One of the most significant developments in 2024 was Russia's decision to reopen a northern front in May, targeting the Kharkiv Oblast. This area had already witnessed intense conflict earlier in the war. Russia concentrated a large number of troops around northern Ukraine, focusing on the border region of Kharkiv. The initial efforts targeted villages near Kharkiv, allowing Russia to claim several territories within the first few days of the offensive. This push into Kharkiv was part of a broader strategy to stretch Ukrainian forces and undermine the morale of the Ukrainian population. By targeting Ukraine's second-largest city and industrial center, Russia aimed to create uncertainty while overextending Ukraine's military resources. However, by June 2024, Ukraine managed to stabilize the situation in the north, thanks in part to a significant policy shift by its Western allies. Russia's Plan for a Prolonged Conflict As the summer of 2024 approached, Russia's plans for a major offensive began to take shape. Military experts warned that this could be one of the most challenging phases of the conflict, as Russia continued to intensify its efforts, particularly in the Donbass region. The frequency of Russian operations increased by 17% between March and April, with a focus on the eastern regions of Donetsk and Luhansk. Russia also announced plans to draft 300,000 new soldiers by the end of June 2024, signaling its commitment to a long-term conflict. Despite the challenges faced, President Putin remains committed to achieving his goals. This period of escalation has seen significant developments, with a large number of Russian soldiers involved since the invasion began. Impact on civilians and infrastructure The ongoing conflict continues to affect civilians, with many people facing difficulties due to the situation. In May 2024, the number of civilians affected reached a high level, driven by Russia's intensified operations in populated areas near Kharkiv. The targeting of infrastructure, including residential buildings and supermarkets, highlights the challenging conditions faced by the Ukrainian population. In addition to the direct impact on civilians, Russia has also focused on Ukraine's power grid. Repeated disruptions to energy infrastructure have caused significant challenges, with half of Ukraine's electricity generating capacity affected by late June 2024. These disruptions have worsened the humanitarian crisis, leaving millions of Ukrainians without reliable access to electricity and further compounding the difficulties of daily life. The Long-Term Outlook As the conflict continues, there is growing concern that the situation in Ukraine could have broader regional implications. Putin's recent moves, including the appointment of economist Andrei Belousov as Minister of Defense, suggest that Russia is preparing for a protracted conflict. This appointment indicates a shift in strategy, 
with a focus on sustaining a war economy and managing resources to continue the conflict despite international sanctions. The potential for the conflict to affect neighboring regions remains a significant risk, as Russia's actions continue to destabilize the area. NATO and Ukraine's Western allies face the difficult task of balancing their support for Ukraine with the need to prevent a wider conflict. However, the very measures taken to strengthen Ukraine's defense could inadvertently contribute to the continuation of the situation. As we move further into 2024, it becomes increasingly clear that the situation in Ukraine is far from over. The stakes are high, not just for Ukraine and Russia, but for the entire world. The outcome of this conflict will have profound implications for global stability, and the path forward remains uncertain.